Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 1st. Our readings are 1st Chronicles chapter 15, Ezekiel chapter 27 and Luke chapter 24. And our thought is, according to the word of the Lord. How vital it is to do things, spiritual things especially, according to the word of the Lord. When we do not follow the instructions that come with the things we buy, we later lose them and guess what they said, and we often have a problem. Until Solomon built the magnificent temple, the centre of worship for the people had been the tabernacle. This contained God's golden ark concealed within its most holy place. It was where his people would come close to the presence of the true God, his dwelling place on earth. It had been built to God's specific instructions after the people escaped from slavery in Egypt and received God's laws at Sinai. Among the instructions God gave through Moses were instructions to the priests responsible for carrying the ark from place to place. Numbers 4 verse 15. When King David captured Jerusalem, he built a special tent to house the ark there. We read yesterday in 1 Chronicles 13 how when the priests started to bring the ark into Jerusalem, they failed to follow God's instructions. The ark had been designed with poles to be slotted through it by which the priests should carry it. Maybe these priests thought they knew better because they loaded it on a cart instead. The oxen stumbled and a priest had to grab the ark to prevent it falling off the cart. The result was that the priest, Uzzah, died. It was a heart-searching lesson from God. In today's reading, chapter 15, they are now very careful to follow the rules God had laid down to bring the ark to the place David had prepared. We read in verse 1. And we read in verse 15, the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with the poles as Moses had commanded according to the word of the Lord. The ark was brought into Jerusalem and there was much rejoicing, music, singing and dancing. When we obey God properly, there is great joy. And this was a most special occasion. Jerusalem was starting to become the holy city. We are told there is joy in heaven, Luke 15 verse 7, when a sinner repents, which happens when one is baptised, that is, immersed by going under the water as Jesus was, as we read in Mark 1 verse 9 to 10. There must be sadness when this is not done in the way commanded, when people think that sprinkling is sufficient, but to baptise means immersion. It is the plain meaning of the Greek word baptizo. Let us serve God properly, following his instructions, taking a lesson from what happened with the ark. Then, if we continue faithful to his word in heart and mind, fully appreciating his grace, we will have true joy and rejoicing when we come into God's holy city when the Lord Jesus Christ returns, and an abundance of other joys. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. <music>